addition we have to add two digit numbers three digit numbers with regrouping and without regrouping we have learned next we have learned subtraction of two digit numbers and subtraction of three digit numbers with regrouping plus without regrouping we have learned and uh, addition and subtraction we have learned now today in today's class we shall learn division okay so we are in the textbook page number 88 he has given exercise number 1 so we are what has said that divide 15 balls equally among 3 children so children here there is a total 15 balls there are total 15 balls so what we have to do is we have to divide this 15 balls among 3 children okay so equally we have to divide among 3 children so that is 15 divided by 3 so this is the symbol of division this one okay, this is the symbol of division like this okay so here we have to divide 15 balls equally among 3 children means 15 divided by 3 divided by 3 this equals to so 15 we get 15 in 3 ones are table so 3 paisa is 15 3 paisa is 15 or else you can do like this in this method also you can do 3 15 so the question is 15 so we have to see that is the number 15 in the 3 ones are table or not so 3 ones are 3, 3 2 are 6, 3 3 are 9, 3 4 are 12, 3 5 are 15, 3 5 are 15. So here 5 times 3 is equal to 15, 0, 0. Okay. So here what happens? If we divide 15 balls equally among 3 children, so each child gets 5 balls. So we got the answer 5. So each child gets the 5 balls. Okay, next question. Divide 32 toffees equally among 4 balls. So students here there are total 32 chocolates. Here there are total 32 chocolates and we have to divide these chocolates equally among 4 balls. We have to distribute these chocolates for 4 balls. The chocolate should be equal to all those 4 balls. So that means there are total how many chocolates? 32 chocolates. So 32 divided by 4. So there are total 4 children. 4 boys are there. 32 divided by 4. 4 and 32. Okay. So here 32 will come in the 4 of the table. Yes. That is 4 1 is 4. 4 2 is 8. 4 3 is 12. 4 4 is 16. 4 5 is 20, 4 6 is 24, 4 7 is 28, 4 8 is 32. 4 8 is 32. Okay. Then 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So that means here each boy gets 8 chocolates. Each boy gets 8 chocolates. Okay. So there are total. 4 boys and total chocolates were 32. So that's it. We have divided 32 divided by 4. Then we get the 4 eggs are 32. So each boy gets 8 chocolates. You can write here. Each boy gets each boy gets 8 toffees or chocolates. We have understood how to divide this. 4 eggs are 32. Okay. So 2 minus 3 is equal to 0 and 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. So that means each boy gets 8 toffees. Okay. The third question. Divide 10 pencils equally between 2 girls. So students here. Look at right here. Here there are total 10 pencils. So what we have to do now? We have to distribute these pencils for 2 girls equally. That means... Total number of pencils is 10 and how many 
girls are there? Two girls. We have to distribute this. Pencils for two girls equally. That means 10 divided by 2. 10 divided by 2. So here number 10. We come in two table S. Yes. So that is two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six, two fours are eight, two fives are ten. So we get the two fives are ten here. Okay, zero minus zero is zero, one minus one is zero. Okay, so that means we can say that each girl gets five pencils. Okay, each girl gets each girl. Gets five pencils. Okay, each girl gets five pencils. How? So there are total ten number of pencils, and we have to divide these pencils for two girls equally. So that means two divided ten divided by two. So ten divided by two means we have to see number ten will come into table or not. So that is 2 fives are 10. 0 minus 0 is 0. 1 minus 1 is, which is equal to 0. So that each girl gets 5 pencils. Okay, Next. Question number 4. Divide 12 hands equally among 4 children. So students here, there are total 12 hands. Okay, this one. So what we have to do? We have to divide this hats, 12 hats among 4 children. We have to distribute this hats for 4 children equally. So that means total number of hats is 12 and the children are 4. So 12 divided by 4. 12 divided by 4 is equal to to see that number 12 will come in the fourth table or not, four ones are table. So that means four ones are four, four twos are eight, four threes are twelve, yes, four threes are is twelve. Four threes are twelve, two minus two is equal to zero, one minus one is equal to zero. So we got the answer that is three. So that means here each child gets three halves. Each child
She wants to distribute this equally among her five friends. So she is having total 20 sweets. So she wants to distribute the sweets for five of them friends. So each friend, how much sweet they get sweets? How many sweets will she give to each friend? So how much sweets they give sweets? She gives one sweet to each friend. She is left with 20 minus 5 is equal to 15. Sweet. So students, she gives one sweet to each friend. So that means 20 minus 5. 5 fours are 20. Okay. So we get 5 fours are 20. We get 1 second. So here there are total 20 sweets with 3 2. So she gives. Five sweets to two for one friend. So that is five for some. Four five is twenty. Okay. So here zero minus five is five. Okay. Right. Two minus one is sorry. Twenty minus five is fifteen. Twenty minus five is fifteen. And second time we use. Five sweets to second friend. Second line uses second five sweets to second friend. That is fifteen minus five is equal to ten. Okay. And third time also he gives five sweets to another friend. So that is ten minus five is equal to five. Okay. Next fourth time also she gives five sweets to his friend. So that is five minus five is equal to zero. Okay. Do you have understood this? Suppose students should be you are having total 20 sweets with you. And your friends have total 4 friends. How many friends have total? So 5 friends you have with you. So each friend how many sweets will you miss? Will you one friend will do total 5 sweets. So that means 5 for 5 friends will you 5 5 sweets. So 20 minus 5 is equal to 15, 15 minus 5 is equal to 10, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5, 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, this is how to do division as repeated subtraction. Okay, so this is the example problem I have solved. I will solve exercise number 2 problem. First problem that is 18 divided by 6. 18 divided by 6. So, does 18 comes in the table 6? Repeat 6 ones the table. 6 ones are 6. 6 twos are 18. 6 yes, sorry, 6 twos are 12 and 6 threes are 18. Yes. So that means 18. So, 
be divided by 5. So, you get 15 in the 5 table. That is 5 3 is a 15. 5 3 is a 15. And anything we have to interchange this one. So, that is 15 divided by 3. That is 3 5 is a 15.